walkthrough of my uh, new game written for the Retrospectiva 2012 basic game program. Uh, it's a game uh, written for the TRS-80 MC-10, a computer from around 1983, an 8-bit machine. That's written in BASIC. There's the listing. See some of the graphics characters there. Um, the title will come up and some music by my son Charlie will play. Yeah, it's basically a maze uh, adventure game involving kind of puzzle solving elements. Uh, this is the instruction screen. There are basically nuclear reactors, nets, you gotta find keys, the keys open doors. You have a time machine you have to find and get to. You're finding these creatures here called the Daleks, and you're trying to find all of the pieces of, of infinity device here. Um, as I said, it's kind of a scrolling maze. You get the Daleks take a little while to kind of break out of their stupor, so you have a chance to get moving in an area. Um, one just ran into a net and died. So it's kind of puzzle solving aspects. You got to try to figure out ways because they they. Like I say, they kind of take a little while to come out of their stupors. So, for example, on this one here, I'm just going to try to lure them down into this area here. Oops, I keep jumping into the next zone before he comes. Okay. And now once I've lured him down into that left-hand side of the room, I can go up, come up and over, and in relative safety, because he's got a search algorithm which will prevent him from uh, finding his way to me, I can set off the nuke reactor by bumping into it and jump ru running out of the room. Um, I collect this key in this little area here and when I go back uh, that destruction has uh, killed him. Now I can use the key to open up this and get one of the parts or I can use to open up this door over here. So I have to make choices like that because you know the order might be useful so it might be worthwhile exploring a little bit first see if there's other ways and where my keys will let me into. Um, so that first room I left, there are Daleks over here and there's a reactor down here. So if I can get around to that, I can just set it off and clear them out. Uh, there was one in there, but he ran into a net, which was rather lucky for me because the nets are set kind of randomly. I run out of the room and destruction in my wake. And when I go back, they're cleared out of there. So I can go in and I can get that little part. Come down there and move on to the next room and explore it, right? If I move quickly enough, I can get going before they even uh, get moving and take a look at other rooms. And as long as I move fairly quickly, uh, I can kind of get a view of those rooms um, before they get moving. And it might be wise not to let them get moving because sometimes you want to like lure them into certain areas or make sure they don't go in other areas which will block your your uh, your progress. So it looks like there's no way for me, whoops, they started to move. Um, there's no for, way for me to get over this this side to the right. So I'm going to need to open this door rather than the one for the part there. Maybe there's more keys there. Okay, so that's the game. It's for the Retrospectiva 2012 um, uh, basic game programming contest. It's called The Doctor's Adventure on Scarrow, and come and see it on our site, Benevolent Chum. Thanks.